Okay, so in terms of troubleshooting both MIDI and audio, I'm going to lead you down the road of what I call the Homer Simpson troubleshoot. Basically, if you're going to be performing live and doing multiple gigs in between bands with limited time in low light and sound men that love Bob Seger more than they love laptops, then you're going to have to get busy with serious troubleshooting. Homer Simpson troubleshooting just involves yanking cables and pulling stuff out real fast, real quick. So first off, I have MIDI in my situation. The reason I can tell is right there. I'm going to say Window, Zoom, and then I'm going to move this over. And I have a visual indication here that I'm receiving MIDI. Not only that, I can hear the sound. There's also this indication here, these this. When I play chords, main stage shows me those chords. So if you do not have MIDI, um, we've got to correct that. So the first thing that I want to do is the first Homer Simpson rule is unplug it and replug it. So right now I'm going to unplug my MIDI device and main stage is going to give me a dialog. Here we go. MIDI input no longer available. So what that means is that I did in fact have that. So if you don't have MIDI, try this. And if I can see around the corner and plug it back in, um, it is going to be back in there and I have it again. If you still do not have MIDI, let's go to your hard drive. And I want to go to applications and this is a utility so hit the U key bam and you go right down the list to U to utilities the utility we want is audio MIDI setup this is how the Mac can see every single device that's listed within your setup so here is a list of MIDI devices that this Mac can see and I use an Ederall PCA, PCR, and that's in fact what we're looking at. So let's do something tricky. Another Homer Simpson. I'm going to, again, pull the plug on this. And this is going to go gray, just like that. And sure enough, main stage gives me the swing, the sorry, no longer available dialogue. So. What I'm going to do is delete these, both these. I'm going to select them both and say remove device. And if your MIDI device is newer, it's going to be called what's called class compliant. Here I'm going to plug my PCR in and a class compliant device automatically appears just like that. I also have a secondary controller, pad, uh, cord pad control. Here we go with that. Bam in she goes. So those are class compliant MIDI devices and I can tell that I have MIDI based on that going to the computer. Okay so in the next session we're going to look at audio. Audio has other issues and that's what we have to deal with there. First we're going to go back to main stage, bing, bam, ding. Audio next.